You see, people often say that video games are antisocial and make you unhealthy. Well, just take a look at this family sharing some sporty fun together. What about that family? <laughs> They're playing together, which is all that matters. Now, safety first, dear little brother. Of course, dear big brother. The wrist strap. What was I thinking? <coughs> Sorry, no hand at the end of the wrist. Come on, Anise! We can't lose to these slugs! This one doesn't look very healthy at all. Hey, this is the body of a world-class gamer. You're lucky we're not online right now, or I'd be saying things I'd never say to your face. Anise, take the shot! <coughs> oh, come on! Uh, now, now, Mother, it's only a game. The goal team wins! Um, how about we switch to a nice fishing game? Well, they're fighting, so technically it's brought them closer together. Keep your clothes off my car. Okay, now approved video games don't make kids lose contact with reality. Hey, Joe, what are you playing? Brickland. It's a game where you can build anything out of little bricks. Very good, Joe. A game encouraging creativity. Right now, I'm building a fireplace in my wooden house. <laughs> oh, no. Not the goats. The goats are on fire! <laughs> that child has no idea what's real and what's not. Yes, but you don't know it was video games that made him that way. What else could have made him like that? Son, 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 stop with this tomfoolery. The fire isn't real. I'll show you what's real. Take this book. It is the key to your future. How? Look, books pave the road to your future. Come on, son, let's time travel. What? Uh, see, yes, I agree. Children should read books and not play <sighs> silly games. A lot of people think that all gamers are unattractive male losers. But look at this majestic female specimen. You must be joking. Look at her face. The lack of natural sunlight has given her skin like a parrot's tongue. And the breath is like a subway in Paris. And the teeth, they're so yellow I thought they were made out of gold. And look at her tiny arms, completely shriveled by the lack of exercise. And her nails. I've heard of gaming addiction before, but I never thought a girl would let herself go to the point of needing a chainsaw to cut her toenails. Yeah, but video games didn't turn her into a giant lizard it comes from her dad oh i see my dear do you play video games with your father sometimes well that explains it video games made them both monsters case closed That wasn't a video game. But how are we supposed to entertain ourselves? You are surrounded by all the greatest classics of literature. That's all you need. <sighs> this is more boring than having to listen to your friend's band rehearsal. Or having to look at people's baby pictures. Or like, edutainment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not edutainment. Wait a minute, I got it! <gasps> the answer was right under our noses! We read! Discover making gross noises with our armpits! <laughs> Did you hear that? It's the sound of someone feeling an emotion other than boredom! <gasps> what? You okay? Oh, it's this darn book! It's making my hair stand on end! What hair? Mm? Okay, what is it? Grimm's fairy tales. There's people getting eaten by wolves, poison, and some old witch getting cooked in an oven. Hmm. I can see you're getting an idea. No, no, just some leftover food on my chin. Oh, well, I have an idea. Hey, that's a great idea. I'm going to pass it off as my own. Hey, I have an idea. If our parents think video games are a bad influence, let's see what they think about books. Everyone, start reading! Yeah! Come on, let's teach our parents a lesson! Excuse me? 